TR1, the global leader in drone racing, has been invited by Legendary Television, Universal Cable Productions, and USA Network to the set of the hit series Colony to fly with the cast members Josh Holloway and Sarah Wayne Callies. Man, do you guys know where we're at? We're on the set of Colony. I know. Colony. If we can train them to fly drones, maybe they'll let us race the set. Let's go check it out. Anybody looking for some drone pilots? Yay! Drone pilots! Wow. If you, you just... dare, I think you're both, all three scared. I can see you're scared I am, already. I'm a little scared. Uh -huh. I'm a little scared. Uh -huh. it's, it's Hi, nice to meet good you. Good to see you. Bapu, nice to meet Bapu. you, Bapu, pleasure. Justin Perkins. Bapu, Bapu, good to meet you. Uh, I heard that drones play a pretty significant role in Colony. Drones are our bad guys. Uh, yeah, the drones in our world are dangerous. Dangerous, so they eat babies and do bad things. They... Well, they're tools of the occupation. Exactly. They just show up. So these drones obviously are a little bit different from what you're probably used to, at least on the set of Colony. These mm -hmm. are made for going really, really fast. So the one that you're holding right now will probably hit about 90, even 100 miles an hour, just depending on the conditions. Wow. Yeah, so and this is a little seat for your hamster? That is a little seat for my <laughs> GoPro. Oh. Oh. Can you imagine your hamster? <laughs> it's so the coming. way it's you coming. actually fly these, yep. which is probably, in my opinion, the best part is through these goggles. So you put these on, and it's as if you're sitting right on top of the drone itself. So we're going to get you an even bigger boy quad. Wow. Bam. Bam! Right there. And is that all camera right. what feeds into the goggles okay. when yeah. you're looking at it? It's got the same thing. So it's got all the same technology that these do. It's just on a lot smaller scale. Let's take a look at the micro drone stats. Weight, 24 grams. Size motor to motor, 66 millimeters. Top speed, 20 to 25 miles per hour. So we can do things like race around Hollywood movie sets. Whoa! Can you just knock these things out of the air? You can. I'd actually love to see you do it. Wow. <laughs> see, look at that. Right, right. This, this is it. awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. This is really like that scene, you know? Amazing. So what we're going to do is we'll get these two fine gentlemen uh, racing these little micros. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's do, it. do it. So you guys can actually make the course yourself. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. The the angle. Angle. However, we do have a drone in Colony that it's a bee. Oh, that's right. And that's a micro. And it's really central to the plot, actually, last season in this. Yes. That's the good drone. OK, what's that? It was going to be the subject of a billion dollar market valuation. It's a micro UAV. Avionics, hardware, software. That's one of two working prototypes. Another one just like it flew into Homeland Security HQ a few months ago. All right, let's get you guys flying one of these. Let's do it. Yeah. Is this a good time to tell you that my television is the one I bought in 99 and it still has a built-in VHS? There's this yaws bit. Nice. There you go. Wow. Sarah's first ah. hover. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. Oh. I'm going to try to yeah. look at myself. <laughs> I feel like I've got like a like a second graders level of. <laughs> if you were to dedicate say two hours to flight, there's a that's a pretty much what the learning curve is for okay. these little guys. If you're willing mm. to put in that time, the reward is huge. It hmm. is just so much fun. A big thank you to our pilots and to Josh and Sarah. Now that we've got them how to fly, next time we race the set. Until then, watch Colony on USA Network and keep an eye out for the upcoming DR1 micro series.